note, this code works great the way it is. The only problem that you're going to have with this from a design point of view is that when I put this in my graphical user interface, I don't want this code just laying out there out in the open just like this. Okay, so the user should just be able to ask a question and just get some data back. What do I mean by that? I'll give you another example where we clean this code up. I'm going to right click here. I'll then say new class and I'm going to say here driver student DAO. DAO stands for data access object. My goal is to create a class that will be responsible for going after the data in the database. You just call it and it gives you your information and that's it. So from your point of view you don't see what's going on underneath. Okay so I'll put a public static void main here and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a class called student DAO, DAO and say new student DAO. Now, for right now, this class doesn't exist. I want to create it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask these clips to create it for me in this case. It did that and now I'll go back to this and the next step that I want to do is I want this class to return me a list of students so this is a list that comes from Java this is the model that we created I'll just call this list and I'll say here DAO find all so from this point of view I don't see any of that code that we did meaning that connect to the database, close the connection, all this code that we did here. I don't want to see this because this can get really clumsy if I have to put this on my graphical user interface. Okay, so again, what I want is I want to be able just to call the object and get me all the data back. I need to import a list and a list is just a, an, I would say a, an array, but an advanced array. Let's create this method. This creates it for us. And this is the driver DAO. Now what I want to happen here is once I get here to this, I want to do student. I'm sorry. I want to do list. I'm sorry. For each. For E, I'll do control space. That's the list here. Each row is a record. And I'll do sys out and pronounce student. Now again, what the goal is that I instantiate this class, I run this code, and it returns me this data. It should do the same thing that Oops, sorry, I didn't want to do that. It should do the same thing that driver student DAO is doing, meaning that it's just iterating through the data and it shows me all this data, okay? But which code is easier to deal with from a graphical user interface? Is it the code here on the right or the code here on the left? Notice in this code, I do not have tons of imports. Here I have multiple imports, okay? This is has a lot of stuff going on, which is normal, which is okay. But what I want to do is when we're dealing with the code that comes from the database, I want to deal it with it this way, meaning that my code will look at this class and get all the information. OK, so that is the goal, OK, that this code will get all the data back from the database and it looks clean from a client point of view, meaning that your code is the client is asking this class for information. This class will contain all this logic here and return back the student data that you can iterate. But again, the whole idea is for it to look clean. And you might hear this term separation of concern. This class is in charge of the students that comes from the database. Okay, so there's a pattern of this called DAO, which I'll put right here that I want you to read up on. This is a pattern that I've used in the industry a lot. Okay.
Uh, let me hit enter because it's hard to see. Like, you know what? I'll take that out. And I'll get rid of that part. We know what the rest is. Okay. And bring it a little that way. And that's the goal. So we'll continue this on the next video. With that, good luck and good coding.